Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the practical that's called modelling covalent molecules. So we're not actually going to make any covalent substances today, we're just going to make models of them and to do that you'll need one of these modelling kits okay, and when you open it up you'll see, you've probably used one of these before, but you'll see a lot of balls and plastic sticks to join balls together with. So I suppose um, this practical is fairly simple in the sense that you just go through the practical sheet building the molecules that it says there but to do that you're going to need to make sure that you know what colour each element is so you can find that information out from your practical sheet um, really I suppose the main point of this film is to show you that there are some different kinds of bonds in these kits and when to use one and when to use the other okay so I'm just going to take a self, couple of sulfur atoms here just to show you the difference between some of the bonds that we've got. Okay, so there's two sulfur atoms. How do I know they're sulfur atoms? Well, because they're yellow. Okay, and we've got different types of sticks that we can join them together with. So they are our covalent bonds. And because we're going to be trying to build different kinds of bonds and different kinds of molecules, we'll need single, double, and sometimes triple bonds. So the point of these bonds here, so that's the grey ones but that are kind of quite short and rigid compared to these long ones here which are a bit longer and a bit more flexible. These ones here are for making single bonds. Okay, So if you want to put a single bond between two atoms, that's what a single bond is going to look like. Okay. Now sometimes you won't know whether it's a single bond until you start trying to fill up some of the holes. But let's say I wanted to put a double bond in between these two sulfur atoms. This is what we use for double bonds, one of these longer floppy ones. But we don't just use one, we actually use two if we want to construct a double bond. And that's the way a double bond is going to look. And sometimes you might even be able to put in a triple bond you might have some leftover holes that you want to fill up with bonds so to do that you just build your double bond first and then use another one of these longer floppier bonds and you can make a triple bond you'll find that it's impossible to get a quadruple bond because you'll have to go out of the top of one and into the bottom of another but that's okay because you don't have to build any quadruple bonds okay so that's just a quick run through of the different types of bonds you can use to make your models in this practical Maybe just a little word of warning that the white bonds, which can also be used as single bonds, so that's these ones here. Okay, If I was you, I'd avoid using those. You don't have to. You can use them if you like. But the thing about them is once they're in the holes fully, they're quite hard to pull out. Now you do get given these tools in some of the sets which allow you to pull them out, but I just find it's easier not to use them, really. Okay, so it's so over to you. Build the models that you can see on the sheet, and if any of this practical doesn't make sense to you, then please make sure you ask your teacher before you start.